Hello, Mike, the Texas HQ, and I've got my John Deere LA145 here that we've been doing all the steering work on. Uh, she's got a whole new steering system, new adjustable drag links. And if you'll notice, you know, it's still a little bit about, out of alignment. I've got the drag links adjusted all the way as tight as they can go, and it's still just not doing it. Uh, what's going on here is that the actual steering spindles are a bit bent. Uh, over the years, the steering spindles, this is a new one. This is where the wheel goes. And as you bump that wheel and hit different things, stumps and whatever you run into, buildings and whatnot, it gets bent. And also over the time, it gets bent up. So it just throws out the alignment. So today we're gonna go through how to replace these. It's a real quick, easy fix to fix your alignment. All right, all right let's get started. All right, so your very first step, before you even jack up the mower, uh, first you wanna remove this front drag link. It's a real simple operation. Uh, this one's a 13 millimeter up top, on top of that flat piece. 17 millimeter down below. Just take it off. Sometimes it's a 15 millimeter up top, but it's usually 17 millimeter down below. It does help if you do lefty loosey. Righty tighty. All right, mower man. Jeez. I swear, sometimes. All right, pop that out. And then you wiggle the wheel a bit. Come on, dude. All right. <laughs> With that, we're out. Now you'll see why we took off that drag link before we actually jacked up the mower. If you look underneath here, there's really not a good jack point. So by removing that jack link, you're able to push that off to the side. And then you can slide your jack up, which I've got a pretty awesome jack. This one's from Summit Racing. Spent way too much money on it, but man, she is a sweet jack. But then you can just jack it up right there on the frame. Next, I'll just show you how to very quickly remove this front wheel from this John Deere LA145. Uh, first step, you just want to remove that, that grease cover, the little cap on there. And then underneath, you'll see it has a C-clip. And what you do is you just get a flathead screwdriver, probably a little bigger as usual, better, and just pry it up underneath there. And you'll prep, pop off that C-clip like so. Then it should have one or two little washers. And then you just yank it off. Real easy. Next step is the cool part. So we're going to remove this steering spindle. It's surprisingly easy. It is a dirty job. I've got gloves on. My mic's heading to church in 10 minutes. So I'm trying not to get too dirty. Uh, so the first step is you want to re remove this dust cap on the top. Now these can be a bit of a bear if they've never been removed in 15 years. But this one. Urgh. Sometimes you got to get a screwdriver up underneath there. <laughs> And then just don't worry about ruining it because your new one should come with a new one. All right, we got that off. See, it's a greasy mess. But down underneath here, there's another C-clip. So remove some of that grease and you just pry that C-clip off. And that's literally the only thing holding this whole steering spindle on there. Oh, man, look at that, super easy. So then all you do is you take your new one, like so, and before you put it on there, Make sure to throw some grease on it. So I've just got some uh, wheel bearing grease. Throw it on there. Then you slide the new one up underneath there like so. Easy breezy. And then you get your, your little C-clip. Oh, that one actually slid on. If it doesn't, I just use a pair of pliers and cinch it on. And if your kids like mine, it should come with a new cap. Let me just slide that new dust cap on there. And bam, you got your new steering spindle on there. Now I'm gonna show you how to reinstall uh, the wheel. Now your first step before you put the wheel on there, especially if you have a new spindle like this one, I like to put some, uh, just some multi-purpose grease, could be wheel bearing grease, this is actually marine grease. Put it on that spindle, because that's what this wheel is gonna be sliding on. If you're just replacing it using the old one, you can try to clean that off. Uh, this is a very dirty job. So next you just slide the wheel on there. Make sure your valve stem is facing out. Make things easier on you in the future. Then you get your, uh, there should be two uh, uh, washers on most of these mowers. So slide them on there. And then you get your C-clip. And then you slide your C-clip, 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 C-clip on there. Just pop it down. This one's a little tight it's a brand new one. <laughs> oh, we'll see if we can do this. It's a game of angles. That's what life is, a game of angles. There we go. 
pops it on there, and then you're gonna pop your dust cover back up on there. Now, a pro tip, sometimes these dust covers get old and they, they shrink up over time. So what I like to do sometimes when they don't fit, take a lighter. And then you get the lighter up underneath there and just heat it up and it just loosens up that rubber. And it's gonna allow you to slide that dust cover up over that washer. Real simple, you wanna slide it right there. And there's a little invention on the dust cover for where the washer goes, and there we go. So your final step is gonna reinstall that drag brace. Now in order to do that, you've got your jack in the way most likely. So let your jack down as you do, try to keep your wheel somewhat aligned. There we go, we've got the jack pulled out. Then you're gonna pull your, <laughs> your brace around, and then you just slide it in that hole. You can see this alignment's a lot different than the uh, previous one we had on here. And then you just get your 17 millimeter on here. And you tighten her up. All right, so we've got our spindle strapped on. I went ahead and did the other side. I do have to come clean. That last shot showed this wheel cocked to the right. Uh, the reason for that is uh, I was a bit of an idiot and put the wrong spindle on the wrong side. So these spindles are unique to each side. You have a right and a left. Uh, make sure to put the right one on. If you don't, it'll be cocked to one side. Just, and if it does that, just put the other one on. So anyways, I hope this helped. Uh, please subscribe. Let's have some more fun. Bower Mike out.